Ramadan, the month of Ramadan is almost here. We've waited a long, we've waited a while for the month of mercy, for the month of mercy, for the month of mercy, Ramadan, the month of mercy. Ramadan lesson number three, fasting for the tongue. Most of the time when we fast, we face several problems because of our tongue. We have to remember that when we fast, our tongue also have to fast with us. So you may ask, how can our tongue fast? If we don't say any bad words, that means that our tongue is fasting. Along with not using any bad words, we should also not say anything that will hurt others. We should not lie, backbite, or make fun of others. If we promise to do something, it is extremely important to keep our promise. This time, the best example would be when we talked about Prophet Zulkiful's story. Zulkiful was a very patient man, and he was a very good judge. He always kept his promises. During the daytime, he used to fast, and during the entire night, he used to pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, because of that, he didn't sleep during the night, and only during lunchtime, he took a little nap. Zulkiful never became angry or used any bad words for anything. One day, Iblis decided to make him angry. So, Iblis turned himself into an old man and came to Prophet Zulkiful during his nap time and made up a story. Iblis complained that someone was giving him a hard time and needed help from Zulkiful, peace be upon him. When telling his make-believe story, Iblis took a long time, so Prophet Zulfikul missed his nap time. The Prophet told him to bring that person to him. Iblis said, he will not come if I ask him. Then the Prophet gave him his ring to show that person to make sure that he would come. Iblis took the ring and went away. Zulkiful, peace be upon him, could not take a nap that day. The next day after his work, when he was ready to take a nap, again Iblis came to him and said, The person refused to come. Iblis again told his make-believe story in a long way so that the Prophet missed his nap time again. Finally, Zulkiful, peace be upon him, wrote a letter to that person and gave it to Iblis. He took that letter and went away. Zulkiful, peace be upon him, could not take a nap that day either. Because of Iblis, he became very tired. The third day after his work, when Zulkiful was ready to take a nap, again Iblis came to him. One of his servants stopped and told Iblis not to disturb him during his nap time and that he should wait until Zulkiful, peace be upon him, woke up. But Iblis was making loud sounds so that the Prophet could not take a nap. He was extremely tired, but still the Prophet did not become angry or did not choose any bad words to Iblis. The Prophet came outside and saw that that old person and Iblis said, The person refused to come. Then. The Prophet held Iblis's hand and started to go and meet that person to solve their problem. It was a very hot and sunny day. 
But still, Prophet Zulkifu, peace be upon him, was walking calmly, and he did not use any bad words. Iblis realized that it would be impossible to break the Prophet's patience. So, on the way, he suddenly disappeared. The Prophet recognized that old man was Iblis. But even then, he did not become angry or did not use any bad words to Iblis. Same as Prophet Zulkiful, peace be upon him, we have to control ourselves and never use any kind of bad words. Also, we should not use our tongue to tell any lies. Even talking negatively about a person, like telling someone's weakness to another person, is something that we should not do, because that would be backbiting. Don't hate on other people or insult them using your tongue, because that would be rude. And we don't want to hurt others, which is why we should control our tongue when we are fasting. For more information, see Surah Qaf, verse 18, Fusilat, verse 46, Bani Israel, verse 54, Al-Hujrat, verse 12. The month of mercy. Have you ever wanted to make a big difference to help children all over the world? Well, what if we told you that you can make that difference happen right now with our Ramadan fundraiser 2018? We provide everything we create for free and are committed to keeping it that way for millions of Muslims and non-Muslims all over the world. 100% of our operations are crowdfunded from our generous audience. We want to continue our Dawah mission, and we can do so with your help. All donations are tax deductible, and Sadaqa is Zariah, which continues to benefit you when you pass away from this world. As Ramadan is the best rewarding month of the year, please join our Ramadan fundraiser 2018. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept your generosity and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give you the highest reward to you and your family in this world and the hereafter.